taking on the corporation has left us with two choices, bad and worse. But you have to choose. And you have to choose now. You know you didn't have to shoot either one, right? But it's fine, I guess. You just keep being you. Keep being you. Keep being you. This, this is the type of digs I like to see put against Bethesda. I think we will finally have a competitor against the Elder Scrolls and Fallout series with Obsidian's new Outer Worlds game. And if you disagree with me, well, good on you for having a speech. Obsidian seems to be really going out of the way with this game. I don't know if you guys have seen all the gameplay, all the articles, all the talks, all the 20 minute things they've done with GameSpot and IGN. The game's looking pretty dope in what it's gonna be. It wants to take the original RPG experience we all love from games like Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 1 and Fallout 2 and every Fallout not made by Bethesda Game Studios. And it basically wants to bring old school RPG into fun first person shooter gameplay, which was what New Vegas technically was, right? It's an actual competitor, which is what we want. And if you haven't seen anything to do with it yet, and you love Skyrim, and you love Fallen New Vegas, who are you? One of the things they specifically say, however, that I wanted to talk about in this video was a gameplay changing thing that we don't really see in games too much anymore. And we haven't seen much of it in the Outer Worlds, outside of just that one moment in the trailer. But they had this to say. Like all of our games, we really like to support various playstyles. How you want to play is available to you. Specifically with dialogue, you can choose to be good, evil, a little bit of both, you have intimidate, persuade and lie options as well as straightforward asking questions, telling the truth, things like that. We like to present a lot of this character has a certain thing they ask you to do and you can either decide that you're going to do that for them or maybe there's a secondary character who wants you to do the exact opposite. You can do something for both of them, you can do neither or you can tell the guy that you'll find that thing for them and then just keep it for yourself. And I think these two paragraphs express exactly what we want. Like when you look at elements of Skyrim, elements of Fallout, for I'm not talking 76 here because it's not an RPG it's always a case of kill someone steal something you're always forced to do something at the disposal of the choices that Bethesda game studios leave for you like in Fallout 4 it's always yes 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 you're like a big dirty yes man and nobody likes a yes man you want that freedom of choice even Fallout 3 had a karma system which was somewhat relatable to an RPG Morrowind lets you straight up kill everybody but Skyrim is a weird mixture between good guy and bad guy you can be a bad guy but in Fallout 4 it doesn't even let you be a bad guy you can try but it doesn't really work the Nuka World DLC they made was even created for the sake of that mentality and I don't know about you guys and what you guys think about it but I personally I personally want that much choice. I want to have five or six different things I can do when I'm talking to someone simple. They might ask me to get an apple. I want to either give them the apple, eat the apple, not get the apple, steal the apple, eat the apple in front of them, steal the apple, eat the apple, and spit it back out. You, you get my point. You need choices, and I've made a video on this before about how the Elder Scrolls needs more choices, and it's something that it's been failing to do in the gameplay mechanical side of things for fucking eons now. I don't know about you guys, but while I was working on another hard decision and something, I said I'd just give my comments on this, and I think it's absolutely fantastic that something like this is happening. This is the type of RPG we need. Something completely on par with Todd Howard's gimmicks of games. Which, don't get me wrong, I love their games, but they just don't have that RPG flourish we want, along with great characters, great stories, and lots of things to do. So maybe the Outer Worlds will be that. So far it's looking pretty good with no microtransactions. There's no mod support, but I can live with that. It's only a small funding they got for the game anyway. This is Obsidian's first take, so I can live with that. And it's single player driven. What else do you want in the game? Let me know what you guys think of this whole debacle. I'd like to know anyway. What you think. Do you plan on getting the game? Does it look interesting to you? If not, tell me why. I don't know. But, uh, do your usual and uh, enjoy your day of whatever game you plan on playing and I'll see you fudgers in the next one.